Okay, question eight in this set is worth a look. We're saying a fire extinguisher produces carbon dioxide by the reaction between sodium hydrogen carbonate and sulfuric acid. If a fire extinguisher is designed to hold 600 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate, calculate the mass of sulfuric acid required to react with the sodium hydrogen carbonate. Okay, first thing you always do for this um, is write for yourself an equation. Okay, so you can see the ratios of whatever is reacting with whatever else. In this case, we see that two sodium hydrogen carbonates react with one uh, sulfuric acid to make carbon dioxide, water, and sodium sulfate. So the first step that you need to do this is you need to figure out how many moles of uh, bicarbonate soda you've got. To do this, we need the molar mass of bicarbonate. So let's just grab that now. Not two of them, just the one. Thank you. Now, that is equal to 22.9 uh, um, plus 1.08 plus 12 uh, plus, um, uh, what is it, uh, 16 times 3. And that happens to be... Um, uh, Okay, I'll write it out for you. 22.99 um, plus 1.008 um, plus 12.01. Okay, plus uh, 48. Okay, and I'm going to get myself out of subscript. And that happens to be equal to uh, 84.01 grams. Okay, so that's the molar mass. That's the mass of a mole. Now we are told uh, the number of moles uh, equals mass divided by molar mass. We are told we have uh, 600 point, uh, grams of sodium bicarb soda or uh, a sodium hydrogen carbonate, and it's and we 80, at 84.01 grams per mole. Uh, mole. Uh, and that will tell you the number of moles that you have. And that is equal to uh, 7.142 uh, moles. Notice again the cute little bit of dimensional stuff. Grams divided by grams cancel out and is left with 1 divided by 1 over moles. 1 on 1 divided by moles is the same as equal to being, to being equal times moles. Okay, so the dimensions are right. So now we know the number of moles that we have of this particular guy. Step two, we need to figure how many moles of high sulfuric acid that we have. We're asked for a mass, but to get it, we need to do the moles first. So uh, moles, uh, H2SO4, please forgive me if I don't put the subscript on this one, uh, is equal to, firstly, one of those for every two of those that are made. Okay, so it's going to be half times the number of moles of those. We've already calculated that we've got that there, that many number of moles. Okay, and we, this means that we are going to have 3.571 moles. 3.571 moles of sulfuric acid. The next step that we need is we need to convert the number of moles to the mass. And we know that mass equals number of moles times the molar mass. The molar mass, which in our case we know is equal to um, uh, 3.571 moles of sulfuric acid uh, times the molar mass of sulfuric acid two lots of uh, 1.08, one lot of 32, and one lot of uh, 0.07, and one lots of 64. Trust me, it equals 98.09 grams per mole, the sulfuric acid, and that one equals to um, 350.3 grams of H2SO4. Uh, please apologize. For, I, I do apologize for my um, uh, formatting. How about I do this properly? 
lovely. Okay, so now you've got the uh, the uh, mass that you actually require, and that is the mass of acid that is required to react. Okay, let's go and deal with part B. Part B is a relative cinch after this. We know that the volume, uh, volume equals the number of moles divided by the concentration. We are told that C equals 12 molar, in this case, with the sulfuric acid. Therefore, our B equals 3.571 from our earlier question divided by 12 uh, molar and that is equal to uh, um, 0 0.2976 litres or if you like prefer 297.6 millilitres and that was the answer to that. See, not so bad at all. Um, it's a question of the, the general strategy for all of these things. Write an equation, figure out what you have and what you need in terms of moles and then adjust uh, to get grams or volume or whatever else you need after it. Quite um, straightforward, these ones.